Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge uh, my colleague, Mr. Burton, for making this, you know, instrumental and representing so many people out there. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask, uh, Dr. Boyle, in your testimony is, is I didn't hear a prevalence about diet. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm, could you I didn't hear a, 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 a pertinent aspect of focusing on diet. Diet. So uh, we do, within the context of our epidemiologic study, um, we do ask about um, information about diet. It, it seems to me in the coordination, and I see the frustration. Uh, I was a practicing dentist for 25 years. I'm also celiac through, by the way, so I can I can understand their frustration. It's it's mortifying um, when you try to go for studies. I mean, the coordination of studies is inherently poor, absolutely a, a, a horrible. I mean, even more even to the recently as last year, um, but. We have people that when, are so motivated in these families. You know, when I would give um, post-ops to families, um, you get about twice uh, the support. With autistic families, they are begging for more support. I mean, you are getting tenfold uh, heroist, heroistic type of apt aptitude and findings. And I am finding more from them than I am from the medical research. And it seems to me we are focusing something wrong here. We should be focusing on the family. They are telling you what is going on, and they are frustrated is, is because the, the, um, the research is cylindrical. They are not sharing. They are not coordinating at all. And they are telling you what is going on and what is wrong. And we should be focusing on the family and utilizing that as a coordinating factor. Now, I want to get back to diets. I mean, I, I, you know, uh, I, I've got family history with this and the genetic dis, the factoring. You know, we've got to spend more time looking at the genetics because there is a trigger mechanism. Um, and celiac brew is one of those. Uh, uh, looking at casein as well, there are so many things. And you cannot point to me to a disease factor. Point to one of them, I dare you, and we will find a dietary problem with it. I mean, diabetes, heart disease. I mean, thyroid conditions, you name them, MS, you are going to find a dietary aspect. So part of the problem we ought to be focusing on is, is the dietary aspects and the aspects to my colleague from D.C. is we ought to be looking at uh, how do we help parents in a dietary format. This is what my experience was. I spent every night after my practice closed going through aisles in a grocery store looking at everything on the aisle to make sure it didn't have a gluten or wheat. Do you know how long that took? It is unbelievable what these people have to do, absolutely unbelievable. And we got researchers who don't listen to them. This is, to me, this is just absolutely incredible. Um, and, and, and I think it is a slap in the face for these people to be looking at those aspects. And here is how, how affluent it was. One of, my, one of my siblings has a son that they said was autistic. Thank God one of my sisters is a physician. And going through this tirade, we found out that she had celiac brew. And she wondered, I wonder if this is the problem for her son. Isn't it interesting? We had a kid who was di diagnosed or, or labeled as autistic, that as soon as we took him off of wheat, gluten, and uh, 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 milk products, this kid sits, reads, does everything appropriately. And I think we can manage this practice a little differently. Sometimes we are in the forest and we don't even understand what we are looking in the trees. Is manage these disease processes is by family, by looking at that as our core group, and then start listening to people, asking a question. That is what we as physicians were taught to do, is ask questions and listen. And I think that is part of the biggest problem that we see in this research aspect, is we are not listening. And I think I see that frustration all over your face. I mean, holy cow, the genetics aspects. Just to give you an example, you know, we were scheduled to be um, a part of a genetic study for, for celiac brew, which is inherently a big process to autism. There are 10 kids in my family. Out of all the grandkids, out of the 17 grandkids, 13 have celiac brew. You think you would use our family. You think, boy, sad excuse we didn't. 
So we are missing the boat here, and we need to have better coordination, much better than what I am seeing here currently. So thank you. The gentleman yields back.